never be with you until that day will fly away. I still love that smiling face in the early sun. Have you seen myself? Been alive so far. CBD oil. It's literally changed my life. I didn't believe it at first. I did not believe it. I was having real bad um, uh, neuropathy. It's when like um, your nerves aren't working correctly in your legs because of, you know, the incident earlier this year. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. You know, it's been a very, very, very stressful week. Just one week after Thanksgiving. I remember the day before Thanksgiving. We got denied credentials for Wilder versus Fury. Now, this video is to end the saga. I know how the viewers are. They're like, T-Street, move on. You've talked about it enough. Yeah, it was fucked up, but move on. So it's time to close this chapter because you know why it's important to talk about it? Because in a way, we've been liberated. Let me tell you a story. I committed my first major criminal act when I was 16. It was me and some friends. We were out committing robbery. We were robbing people for coats, sneakers, money. We were broke, struggling. However, the crazy thing is that night we're walking down the street and I can barely remember it, but older black dude, he had like a tan trench coat on. He said, don't move, motherfucker, or I'm going to shoot. Me and my friends start running. Just so happens we were walking up to rob them. There were cops. We end up running. Long story short, I fall. We get caught. We had already ditched the guns in uh, in the drain and I started running and I'm brushing up against these tall ass hedges. So I'm running like this because I don't want to see want them to see me throw it and pick it up. So I'm running. So while I'm running, my side is like you can't really see it, but my side is like brushing against like the um, the, the, the bushes. So I try to dig in my pocket. So my arm go into like the bushes, like scraping me all up and shit and then go into my pocket and then like slide that shit in. And then we just start my almost knock my motherfucking water over. And then we start taking off. I fall about we running, dodging traffic and shit. I fall maybe about quarter of a mile. I'm 16 at the time. Quarter of a mile. Some flat footed ass Asian cop catch me. Put his foot on the back of my leg. That's how they stopped me from getting up. I feel that fucking metal like right here in the back of my motherfucking head. And guess what they locked me up for? Not out there attempting to rob motherfuckers, but actually because um, a car had got stolen in the in the um, the shopping center. But the point I'm trying to make is, you know, what saved me, even though I was 16 and even though I was dealing with a whole bunch of shit trying to get out the hood, obviously we made it out. We made it out. A lot of people like to judge people on their past, especially people who've never been through things in life. They've never been through nothing. So therefore, they'll see a guy like me talking about these real stories, life stories. I'm living the best life right now. I'm financially secure. My family's fine. I finally was able to bring my family closer together. Very, very close to beating a four year custody trial. By the way, you know how difficult it is for a man to get custody of a child? Of a girl, by the way. That's how confident I am that I've changed my life and turned it around 100%. I can't even believe I can't even believe the job titles I have today. Outside of what I do on YouTube, being a uh, web designer, because I built Fight View 360 from the ground up. All this myself, all this coded, everything, everything. A vlogger, editor in chief. This is just media stuff. I give consultation on um, consultation on um, 
people who white shoes obviously you don't want to give out your secrets but if people are working in other genres outside of boxing or mixed martial arts or genres that i may want to tap into one day like movies or whatever then i may help them and say hey listen you might want to change this with your videos and it's going to boost your you know because one thing for sure is our niche here is is post fight content and preview videos and educating you on the fight so you can see me and you can think whatever you want of me. You can go, you know how many people tried to destroy me or thought they were by bringing up my criminal record? I've done many videos about it. Go look it up. T Street criminal record on YouTube. I've always lived by, for one, always leave a paper trail, especially somebody like me with an unfortunate vast criminal record. Now... So people don't use that stuff against me. I even have cameras outside of my house, inside of my house. People say it's paranoia, but hey, listen, I've, I've, I've even been framed before. Y'all remember I did the video. I was doing a live stream um, after Mayweather versus Madonna All Access episode, the epilogue, right? Y'all remember that? And then that night when I was doing a live stream, a, li a live stream like I do. Where I could be nowhere else, a woman decided to say that I beat her up and kicked her in her stomach while she was pregnant. But guess what? Paper trail for everything because I'm a recluse. You know what that means? The world, you know, I'm fine where I'm at. I'm happy in my world. I have everything I can ever possibly want. My family is fine. I finally got my father fine, my health. I spent 19 days in a coma earlier this year. A lot of people still ask me, T-Street, what were you talking about? In fact, I'm going to re-release the video for you guys. Because my mom and my family told me to private it. But people like, T-Street, what were you talking about when you said assassins tried to kill you? It's because I thought that I was in the hospital because some motherfuckers tried to kill me and strangle me and shit. So when I was finally able to talk and be coherent, I did a video when I shouldn't have done videos at all. But turns out all that stuff I thought had happened didn't happen because I was in a motherfucking another world for three weeks. Damn near. I was in a coma. Some trippy, trippy, trippy shit. I cannot put into words how vivid wherever I was. And sometimes I ain't gonna lie. I be wanting to talk to people about it. I did talk to my therapist about it, though. But it was to listen. Like, it was at one point in time, I knew, like, something is wrong. This is not a real world. Like, and I kept trying to get up. So, in the real world, they had to paralyze me because my body is fighting through the sedation and trying to get up and shit. It's crazy, crazy, crazy story. But one day I'm going to write a book about it and talk about it in more detail. But the point is, I take what I do in boxing media very, very seriously. That's why it ain't going to be none of that bias shit here. Also, we're not going to be involved in what do they call it, like the politically correct and all that shit. I can say the word faggot. I can say the word nigga. Why? It's because I'm not saying it in a derogatory manner. I'm glad to be black and glad to be able to get away with the things I'm going to get with things I can get away with in regards to people not saying, oh, this guy's a racist. Nah, we tell that shit like it. It's not a racist bone in my body. Period. That's why I'm so active in the comments to make sure I'm telling you, you're not going to come to my channel with that shit. And also on YouTube, I've been doing it for eight years. This is my world. You know how many times people try to shut down my channel? This is my world. Sometimes you have to look back and you have to pick and choose your battles. But, however, to get back to what I was saying earlier, is um, it's uh, 7.31 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday, November the 29th, 2018. I'm actually like nine hours late with videos, like a lot, a lot late with videos. I'm a lot late with videos because I've been dealing with this back and forth credential thing. And let me tell you what my issue is. Apparently, we become a uh, a uh, whistleblower, if that makes sense. Here, let me show you something. People have been wondering. They'd be like, T-Street, what the fuck is going on? How did you get denied credentials? 
And honest to God, truth, I still don't know to this day. But now we know that we likely will not be getting credentials for any other Al Heyman or PBC events. Likely. Not saying that it's official yet. But we, we, we predicted that. So I guess this is the best way to start. It's going to take a little while because I want to go through it. And also I have consulted with my legal advisors and my colleagues if we should do this. And truth be told, if there's like two lines, right? But if there's like two lines, one line is like T Street. No, you shouldn't do that. You're unprofessional. And it's another line that's like T Street. This had to be done. Like we we riding with you. That's the long line. It's like this, you know. They like you got to get that shit done. That shit's way the fuck. They like you got to get that shit done. They like you got to get it done. I did not want to do this at all. I, I swear to you, I did not want to do this. But when I look at, as I was talking about keeping a paper trail, it's been four years of the of credential denials. Do you know where we, do you want to see what, a, what one of my videos looked like four years ago? Let's go take a little look at what one of my videos looked like four years ago. Um, Mayweather, reverse me. Donna post fight results. I did Mayweather Madonna on the other channel. This is the second channel, by the way. We 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 gotta stay on, on topic because we're gonna be here forever, motherfucking talking about the origin story and shit. We're not gonna do that. I I did two on this channel. Mayweather Madonna two is when I launched this channel right here. This is what my videos look like. 45 have like this is what my videos look like four years ago four years ago now at this point in time I never ever removed my like bar it has negative dislikes because for one I was labeled as a Floyd Mayweather hater at the time because I just told the truth like I've always I always have but also People at this time were heavily searching YouTube. See, I, my videos are always so quick online. So when people search, they see my video there and they think, damn, this is not the motherfucking fight. This guy's a fucking asshole. This is when people used to clown me when they used to be like, Two Street, you drunk. Remember, I went to rehab years back, voluntarily, by the way. I was drinking a lot. People used to try to say, oh, this man, this guy's drinking and all that. No, I was drinking a lot because I was a bartender and I was sleeping around a lot. It wasn't no me sitting around drinking by myself. Like I was sleeping around a lot and it was destroying my life. But nonetheless, man, I'm just, you know, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh... Let's go through it because we're probably going to be here forever. Let's go through it. We're probably going to be here forever. Oh, <sighs> let's go through it. I'm going to read it to you. Let's do a little read in rainbow. Let's do a little read of Rainbow. Now, I want you to tell me. Now, mind you, this was after. Um, this was after. We were denied. Well over a dozen fights. Also. Emails were going. Unresponded to. All right, let's go. Happy holidays. My name is Terrell Van of Fight View 360 in the YouTube channel T Street Controversy Live. I must first inform you that the tone of this email is to resolve some very serious and disheartening issues with your company for several years now. My partner, colleagues, supporters, and people in the know have approved this lengthy email. 
Now, what I did in the email, in the actual email, a lot of this stuff is color coded. So I've, I don't remember. This may be, be may be in red. So understand, this is not just something me sitting there just typing rambling. Bam, 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 bam. Just rambling. He's mad. Like, ah, I'm going to type this and be mad. Nah. This went through several drafts and several approval processes. We had to figure out what stuff to leave in and what stuff to take out. This wasn't just me. All willy nilly. Just like, yeah, I'm going to sit here and be, mm, I'm going to, ha, ah, I'm mad, belligerent, brah. Nope. But however, I want you to, to, to see how I have to, and I have to do this with everything in life. I, I, I've told you before, listen, I've been through a million dollar lawsuit, a very lengthy custody trial, very lengthy criminal trials. God knows mental evaluations. My life is this. Listen, when it comes to this stuff, you can't mess with me. I'm very thorough. However, because the way I carry myself, people don't think I'm as thorough. And also, it's true. I've noticed it being a six foot three, 270 pound black man. I still walk down the street and people douche, lock their doors. I, I see it. I experience it every single day. And I honest to God feel that they look at my videos, they see me, oh, and they, they don't look into the meat of the content. They see me like, oh, huh, this guy. Or they, or they remember me getting kicked out of Vegas after I flew out there with my father. It was a double joint adventure because for one, we're supposed to be traveling a lot more. I'm really, I'm really, really, really putting a lot into boxing. I could really, really be living good if I wouldn't put in so much money into boxing. Good. But that's what you do when it's a passion. And when you start something, you have to finish it and you do not give up. You don't. So when it comes to these emails and, and, and legal proceedings and all that, I'm no novice. But this is, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. And by the way, I'm not saying I've learned a lot of this stuff through trial and error. Trust me, I did not want to, you know, learn a lot of the things that I had to learn, like willing. It's not that I didn't want to. It's just that, man, I, I get, you know, people always don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do something. A lot of times they say you can't do something is because they can't do it themselves or also, if you know you're doing something right, then keep going. So, I personally feel that our reach and influence in the boxing community over the last eight years is grossly underestimated by Magnumedia.com. We are fully aware that this can affect our future credentials. We are prepared. We must resolve these issues before closing out 2018. Now, already understand when I'm typing this stuff, of course, we know that, yeah, they're probably going to receive this email and they're going to be like, who the hell does this guy think he is already? Right. But however, we've called them. What did they do? This was uh, three years ago. They weren't very kind on the phone. So why would I call back? We've emailed them numerous times. Very polite emails. No response. Remember, I'm a media member. So they're whatever. Let's continue. First, please remove the email address, my personal email. This is where, like, you know, all the bullshit go. And please remove my email, you know, from your mailing list. My email is editor at fightview360.com. If any of you guys have any questions or want to join the team. I requested this of this two years ago. Now, by, mind you, this is just the fuck it. I'm going to show you the real email. We can't. I'm going to because this is not going to do it any justice. This is not going to do it any justice. And we only have about 15 minutes left in the video. So give me a minute. Let me pull up the email. Let me pull up the actual email because this is the only the draft and there's some stuff missing. Important key stuff. I'll be right back. Well, y'all can just fast forward.
Space base, is it all right? Okay, in order to do that, y'all got to give me the funk in order for me to give you the funk. So let's pop our fingers right here. Quiet, fellas, real, real down. I want to hear the pops. Shh. I'm gonna take you there, baby. You know that place I was telling you about? Huh. I'm gonna take you there. Just keep popping your fingers, baby. And I'm gonna cream, you're gonna see me coming. I'm gonna come all in your face, brother. <laughs> Hold on, baby. Pop on, baby. <laughs> Watch out. I'm gonna take it there, baby. Watch out. Take it there, baby. Okay, keep popping. I ain't through yet. Give me them pops. We just about there. We're gonna nut this time, okay? Is it alright? We're gonna nut. We're gonna come at the same time. Now, I understand that this would upset some people, but it's not hostile. The only way it upsets people is if they look at it like, who does this person think he is? Not at the frustration and all the money and all the work that we've put in here. And I understand that um, if you don't know what a whistleblower is, then this is definitely a whistleblower type deal that I'm in right now because it's true. There's a lot of media that they let that they let in that don't do more work than us. So why shouldn't I call them out? Ooh, what are you going to do to me? I'm talking about to the media that are like, who is this guy hating on us? I'm not hating on you. I'm telling you the truth. Especially when they do bullshit, that racial shit. Or then all of a sudden they pop up after covering other shit. They pop up. Oh, it's Wilder versus Fury. Let me cover that. No way. We can we can't handle that. We can't sit by and just let that happen. I can't handle that mentally. I can't sit by and think like, damn, they did it again. I had to write this. 
It's been years. So regardless, on fight night, we're going to be number one in views on all of the fights. I'm going to cover them all because now my colleagues, they're very upset. And obviously me being the top guy, they like looking at me like, bro, like you do something. This is not a one man ban here. I'm tired of being ridiculed. Like, I'm tired of it. People in the comments, ha, 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 T-Street didn't get in. No, we ain't taking the blame no more. We doing our part because everybody knows we deserve to be there. But however, we were firmly, they did comply. They did comply. They did send us an email last night. And I did reply with a thank you. And then I also applied for a... Uh, the Charlo's fight, the similar 22nd in New York, PBC on Fox. And we're going to continue to apply to all of their events. Because now I think that they understand it's like we are not the enemy. And it's not beneficial to both of us to be enemies of each other, of all entities. Because obviously, once again, if I sense something like that, then we're ready. And if this channel ever got shut down, then guess what? I'm just going to go to another channel. Or go work for somebody like people have been telling me to do for years. Saying, T Street, you need to go with such and such. They definitely gonna let you. No. Why can't we do it on our own? Under our own banner. Why? We hacked, we had to hack our way into um um Mayweather versus McGregor. We had to use another media company. Even though I was the one behind everything for the most part. Long. Listen, long, crazy story. I can get the content from Fight Night. I got some friends there that will be like, hey, T-Street, just give me a couple bucks. Here, you can have it. That's not what we want. We want media legitimacy. My goal is to close out 2018. Do you know what it's like when you almost lose your life? You ch it changes a lot of shit, especially also when you have a child out there that's literally being held hostage by the mother. I know that when I go to court on February the 25th, one year after I woke up from my coma, from my custody trial, that all this stuff, everything, when I, when I, what I do with boxing, mental health, past criminal, all that stuff's going to come up. That's why I made sure, and I'm making sure to put everything in regards to 2018 and before in the past i'm a 35 year old man the past is the past i'm a, i've died and came back i'm brand new i was telling my mom on thanksgiving that i feel like with with that shit happening with me being in limbo whatever that was i was them three weeks i feel like the old me dying i'm not going to be paying for old shit especially when i'm doing the right thing I look around at everything I'm doing in life and I'm like, yo, like, what am I doing wrong? So this is not about just this fight. I needed this fight and I need these fights for media legitimacy so I can get my child. So when you have something bigger than that, obviously I need some answers. leave nothing for anybody to threaten you with all my business is out there they can't say nothing they're here on the channel everything my whole personal life is here documented i got videos to do anyway um i gotta get to uh uh uh, uh mundine um horn way in horn mundine way in then the undercard press conference for Wild vs. Furious today. So I've been having this issue where no matter what time I go to bed, even though I'm generally in bed unless it's like a fight on, like 7 p.m., 8 p.m., but I can't stop waking up at 4 a.m. So I got to condition my body because the Mundine Horn fight is tomorrow morning. This time they're going to be stepping into the arena. The fight should be over on this time tomorrow morning. And then Saturday just all work. Remember, it's the Facebook stream, the Showtime fight with uh, Stevenson uh, Groves Dick, and then the pay-per-view. 
So then Louis Neary fight that day too. Then all the website stuff. We gotta we we're busy. So obviously because of this whole debacle with these credentials, we're behind on a lot of stuff. But we're gonna catch up. And we've already met our quota. Met our quota for the month is uh 120 videos, 30 videos a week. We're at like 133 for the month or something like that. So the goal is to get 30 videos out a week. But a lot of times I notice we've been going on like 40 now, 40 plus, because there's so much stuff that got to get covered. We cover all boxing. And we have something really, really big cooking, cooking. I hinted at it in this, um, in this, uh, you know, we have a confidentiality agreement, two of them actually. So. We're working on something big big bigger than this shit right here also take note that y'all know me when i go to events i'd be in the back i'm not there all that on that you know hey, hey give me a motherfucking picture man i get there to get the news and get the hell out of there period but i'm not going to sit here and keep you know talking about you know how you know y'all know what we do i'm t-street controversy this is t-street controversy live please subscribe